it's Miss K and we're going to do another art project. So today it's salt painting and you can create lots of different pictures or designs that you might want to do, but you need a few supplies. You're going to need some thick paper, although copy paper will work fine, a pencil to draw, glue to trace, some salt, watercolors, paintbrush, and a cup with water, and you're going to need a safe place to do the salt. It's going to be a little messy, so you might need to go outside. All right, let's get started. Any kind of picture you like, you can do a flower, a star, a truck, a design, lots of different options. And when you're drawing your design, you're going to trace it with the glue. So you want to make sure your lines are good to follow. And the glue, you just trace right over where your pencil marks were. And try to do it not too thick because some of the glue will fall off later. So if it's too thick, it might get a little clumpy. So after you do this, you're going to want to make sure you're in a safe place for the mess it'll cause with the salt. I'm going to move it into a pan so that the salt gets collected all together. And you're just going to sprinkle it right on. And 
then once you get enough on there, you can also kind of shake it around. So make sure it gets all of the glue edges and corners. Or... And then once you do that, you gotta let it dry for a few minutes and then it'll be ready. I'm gonna do a little flower here and just see what makes the salt painting fun is the salt ability to absorb water. So we want to do a little experiment and see if sugar will act the same way as the salt. Sugar looks like salt, but will it absorb the watercolors the same? start painting. So you get your water colors all nice and wet, primed to go, and just gently put your color on. You don't need to even push on the salt and a glue mixture. Just kind of dab it and watch how it spreads. So we figured out why it spreads so easily with the salt. And are you making any guesses for what will happen when we touch the sugar? Will it act the same? And if you want to thin out your color, you can always just add a little bit more water. So what will happen, can we take a look and see, this was the sugar, it wasn't nearly as bumpy as the salt still is. So what happens when we take the watercolor to it, it's not spreading the color, it's just sitting right on top and doesn't travel beyond where I touched it with the paintbrush. So this shows that sugar is not absorbent like the salt and also you can see that it's kind of got a little bit of more of a sheen or a glossiness to it and it's almost completely um, dissolved in the in the glue there's very few granules left in there so I don't think this would work for sugar but it's still fun to try the fun word for absorbing the absorption that the salt does is called hydroscopic that's not a word I knew, I had to look it up, but it is the property that salt has to make it so absorbent, and it also is why salt is such a great preservative, too.